Hello everyone and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant at Bentley Systems. Today we're going to show you in this video how to place a point light. Go ahead and launch MicroStation Connect Edition, set up the workspace Bentley Connect Training, and select the work set visualization. Then load the drawing A Station Model MS. When we come up into our drawing, we can see that we are looking at a camera view. And what we want to do first is we want to restore down our view to click and drag from the lower left hand corner so we can see our other two views. We have a top view and we have a front view. Also notice that these are in wireframe. What I want to do is I want to zoom in on the left side of the building right here. That's the light that we're going to be working on. Then I want to go to the View tab, bring up the Saved View dialog box, and I want to restore a view called View of Interior 1. That's going to bring us to the inside of the building. We're going to attach that to View 2. So double click on View of Interior 1, and then left click in View 2, and we can see our view. And you can see the lights hanging from the ceiling here. What I want to do is I want to get to this last light, my cursor into view two, and I'm going to roll my wheel to me. That's going to step me back. There's one light there, and then I'm outside the wall. So I'm going to step forward again, and I'm going to pan up by holding down my wheel, and then I can zoom in. There's that last light there. I can check to see which ones are lit and which ones are not lit by going to the Home tab and launching the lighting dialog box out of the lighting group. And I'm just very simply going to click on night. I'm just going to set my scene to a night scene. You can see that in the cans that are hanging, I have light sources in all the other ones except for that last one, and that's where we're going to be putting our point light. So I'm going to switch that back to evening so I can see that can relatively well. We could also do this in a wireframe diagram, and that might be a little bit easier for somebody, but I can actually see the object that I need to put my light in. And I can zoom into that a little bit more if I want to get closer to it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create our light, and then we're going to place it inside of that can. So we're going to click on Place Light. We're going to set our preset. So the first icon on the top is a point light. We'll talk about the other ones in other videos. Let's set our preset to a halogen 250 watt bulb. We're going to give it a name so we can highlight that. And I'm going to keep the same naming convention it has before. So industrial dash zero one, open parentheses nine, close parentheses. And that is going to be our light. Uh, we're going to set the color to white. Temperature, just leave it at custom. The intensity is 100%. That's the intensity of the bulb. We can set the intensity different. Once we place the light, if they're too light, we can turn the intensity down. 5,000 lumens, that's what this 250-watt uh, bulb is uh, rated at. The cell size is actually the cell that I'm going to place that shows that it's a light source. So that cell size I want to be 300. The bulb size I want to be 304. I'm going to turn shadows on. This will cast shadows, and they're going to be sharp shadows. If you move your cursor onto the screen, you can see that there's a little asterisk by your cursor. I can move it here. I can see that asterisk right there. Now, what I want to do is I want to snap it. That's a 3D object. And what I can do is I can use my snap. So I'm going to change my snap to a center snap. And I'm going to hover over the edge of this can. And what it's going to do is it's going to snap my light source into the center of the can, which is exactly where I want that. Left click to accept. And I've got a light source in there perfectly. Now I'm going to right click to stop. And you can kind of see the highlight in there that the light source exists. Go ahead and set your light setups to night. Now, what happens is, is we put this in Industrial One and it's turned off. So I'm just going to highlight that. 
and come up here and turn it on. And there you can see the light source come up. That's how you place a point light. Thank you for watching and uh, continue watching our video series. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.